Hey, what's up, street dogs? The Eric from the Eric from Street Photography Blog. Currently in the beautiful gazebo backyard of Cindy's mom. Just chilling here. And just essentially wanted to give you guys some personal thoughts and ideas and yeah, essentially what I've been up to. So one of the things I really want to share with you is realize that one of the purposes of life and one of the focuses you should do is think of yourself like an artist philosopher. So when I see that, what I mean is this. First and foremost, we know we're going to die. That's the first thing. And so the question is, how are you going to best motive, um, use your time, your energy, your focus, and your life to live the life most fulfilling to you, to empower yourself the most, to empower other people the most. And no matter how rich you are, no matter how smart you are, death is nothing we could cheat. So I think thinking of the end and working backwards is a very effective way of living your life. So what that means is imagine yourself 90 years old and on your deathbed. What would you regret doing in your life? What would you regret not doing in your life? And what would give you a better sense of fulfillment and meaning in life? And I think that's a good way to think about it because that is the ultimate motivator. I love this saying, memento mori, which means you will die and you must die. And it's, to me, the best life hack slash motivator because it keeps you on focus and it keeps you from doing things which are not so meaningful and important in your life. And so I think one of the best practical ways we could do this as human beings is to create art. So art could be singing, it could be dancing, it could be making photos, it could be making film. And I don't believe in highbrow or lowbrow art. I think it's all art, like even you starting a YouTube channel and just uploading beats or making your own SoundCloud or uploading photos to your website or even Instagram or Facebook. To me, I think that's all art. And the secret is how can you keep making art every single day, which brings you happiness and purpose in life. So I know for myself personally, it means not crowdsourcing your self-esteem. It means making photos and making videos, making art, making stuff that you personally like. And even if nobody else saw it, would you look at it yourself and would it bring you joy? Making sure I'm still recording, okay? So, also it's kind of realizing that you must also be a philosopher. So, I also don't believe philosophy as being this ivory tower, like you must be some wizard with a gray beard and, you know, think about the meaning of the universe. I think that's kind of silly. I think for me, philosophy is the reason what, the reason why initial philosophers call themselves philosophers was, philosophy means love of wisdom. Philos means wisdom, Sophia, I don't know. Philos means to love, and Sophia means wisdom. And so essentially it means that you love wisdom, and essentially it's a humble brag way of saying that you're seeking knowledge and wisdom and more purpose and happiness in life. So, looks like the, the sprinkler's gone off on the other neighborhood. I'm gonna walk and talk. Okay, so essentially what this means is this. So, By being a philosopher, you're always questioning yourself. You're always questioning, it's like, you know, what's the purpose of my life? How can I live a more fulfilling life? And what gives me a stronger sense of purpose in life? And the exciting thing about being a philosopher is that at any moment in life, like even you right now, as long as you're curious about just finding more purpose in life, you're already a philosopher, which is super cool and empowering. And not only that, but I think philosophy is super interesting because it's fun is that you're constantly searching for deeper answers to life and it's something that you'll pursue until you die and this is another big philosophical discovery I made personally is that there's no one ultimate answer there's no grand unifying explanation to the meaning of life whatever to me it's more like how can I live a more fulfilling day on a day-to-day -day basis to not let myself self-censor myself to have fun to be like a child again and to just make stuff and not only empower myself but empower other people in the world and to take this dual bimodal barbell approach of being a philosopher slash artist or artist slash philosopher is that as an artist you're a maker you create stuff 
So whether you make photos, you make videos, you make film, you make poetry, whatever. And being a philosopher is important too because you're constantly asking yourself what is the meaning or the significance of it. So throughout your life, if you just could keep balancing between being a philosopher and an artist, you're going to live the best life possible. And to me, this is one of the big secrets and truths that I've discovered in my life. And obviously, I'm still learning, I'm still discovering. But hopefully, this is some advice I could give you some sort of motivation in life. So once again, remember that you as a photographer are already an artist. And if you're more curious about um, what the purpose of life is, you're also a philosopher. So don't put limits on your creativity. Don't put limits on what you make, what you produce, what kind of art you make. Make photos, make film, make poetry, make beats. I've just been using GarageBand and iMovie to make slideshows. And a uh, big tip too is start posting things to your own website, your own blog. Uh, don't put so much of stuff on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. I am still a big fan of YouTube because it's just an easy way to post your videos and share it quickly and effectively. But once again, no limits in terms of what you do, how you create, and never let anyone else judge you but yourself. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Peace out.